Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This is a short video to show you how you can customise the prefix on automated numbering in a way that it chooses a particular letter depending on what you might have chosen on the sheet. For example, on a road log where you might have different items where you want different prefixes. So let's jump in and show you what I mean. So in here, what I'm going to go to is I've got my raid log and you can see that for an issue I've got the prefix with an I, whereas on the risk I've got prefix with the R and an action and prefix with an A. So I've had a few questions on how I do this. So very simply, you'll see this is a column formula. And if the column formula, let me just go and turn this to a cell formula and then you can jump in and we can see what it is. So what's this doing? It's saying if the cell is blank, make it blank. Otherwise, take the first letter of the RAID type and so it's saying left and then take the first letter only of the RAID type and then put a hyphen after it and then give it the auto number that comes from there. So if you just come back out of here, so ultimately the RAID type, all I'm saying is because we know if we look at the RAIDs, we've got an, um, the risk action issue decision. So they, I'm just saying take that first letter, so R A I D. Um, on this case, it's very, very simple. So just saying left one. And then here I've got a hidden column, which I'm just going to unhide. And this is the auto reference number. So again, this is your standard auto number column and it just has the numbers here. So again, if I just go back to this formula, what's happening in here, the reference is going take that first letter L. So if I just go into here and I'm going to put in something um, Zeta, for example, if I put in Zeta and I save, you will see this has now got the letter Z in front of it. And so on that case, it is just taking the first letter of whatever goes into here. Whereas it, now if I change that to be a decision, you'll see that changes to be a D. So again, it's the left and that is it. So really it's a very simple way and I'm gonna turn this back on so it's a column formula, convert to column formula. And then this way you can see it's a very simple way of having it so it always shows whichever prefix that you want here. So I'm going to turn that decision now into an issue. And again, you can see that changes automatically. Because this column's not needed, I hide it again. So let me just hide that column and off we go. And there it is. So short and sharp, a little help to show you how to do that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.